a sweet pizza. This is a great recipe for all you kids out there who want a great, yummy, fast after school snack or with your friends. Uh, maybe you're having friends after school. So we're, Ava's gonna show you how to use our Feel Good Dough, original classic dough, and we're going to make a cinnamon sugar pizza. How's that sound? <laughs> Sounds delicious to me, I want okay. this. So we're only using half a dough ball for this. So what you can do, cut it in half or have a parent do it. Um, you're working with half, you can either put another half in the fridge, it'll last up to five days for you in there, so you can make it again, or pizza later if you want, for dinner, who knows. So the first thing we want to do is pick it up and kind of gently stretch it. You're not going to like pull it, because I don't like a hole, so we want to gently stretch the edges where it's thickest, and it's kind of just dropping down with gravity, rather than being stretched too much. So when we place it on our pan, place it in the middle, and then hold the center, and you'll stretch it all the way around. If you hold the center, it's not gonna stretch a hole in the center. So it'll keep that nice and thick. All right. Great tip. Yeah, I like that. Well, I get this done, so it does take a minute. Uh, Terry's gonna show you how to mix a dip that you're gonna put, put on this. Cinnamon sticks always taste good with some sort of dip afterwards, so I like this one. It is a honey butter, and it's a very simple thing to do. You just need a quarter cup, Pull that right out of your drawer and some softened butter and just scoop it out and put it right into, sorry, put it right into your mixing bowl and then a tablespoon of honey. And this tastes great with cinnamon sugar. And then you're just gonna mix it together. I can't see. Oh, you're just gonna mix it together. And you can do the taste test at this point. And it's usually tasting it with your finger. If it doesn't have enough honey, which I like a little more, I add another mm -hmm. tablespoon. Yeah, they got nice and creamy. And then with your butter soft, not melted. You don't wanna melt your butter. Keep right. it on the counter for probably an hour if you have a stick of butter. Um, probably an hour and then it'll be nice and soft and you can easily mix it with a spoon. See how whipped that gets? Mm. Very easily. That's great. You can put it in your own little dipping bowl. Yeah. And then when your pizza comes out, did we show them how to do the cinnamon sugar on top? Not yet. Oh, do that. <laughs> Alright, so the next step after stretching your dough is to put on a cinnamon sugar mixture. I like to mix them together before so it's nice and even all over the pizza, but you can start with sugar and then sprinkle with cinnamon. That is up to you. There's a lot of ways you can do this and it's fun. So you're going to drizzle it all over your pizza first and then what we're going to do is we're going to press it into the dough to really get it in there to flavor the dough. So when it crisps up, it'll just have flavor across the entire thing. So we're going to press it on in. You don't want it to make a mess in the kitchen because that's a lot to clean up. And the smell of cinnamon always is so good. I love the smell of cinnamon. When it bakes in your house, everybody's going to be running and seeing what, what's coming out of your oven today after school. Yeah, so this is what it'll look like before it goes in the oven. It's not going to be super layered. It's nice and thin layer of our stuff here and how long do we bake this for Terry? This actually goes 425 for four minutes. Four minutes, that's really fast. Very fast. All right, so we already baked one. We couldn't wait. <laughs> we <laughs> love this one. <laughs> so, it's our afternoon treat too. It'll just come out like this. You can use a pizza cutter and make some strips. Pizza cutters look like this. Mm -hmm. If you don't have that, um, use a kitchen shears. They cut pizza very well too. Yes, or have mom or dad help you or an older brother or sister or really anyone who's allowed to use it. How about that? Nice and easy there. It's very easy and it doesn't have to be for after school. So if you have time on Saturday or Sunday morning, what a great treat to make for your family. So enjoy. Bye. Bye.